Introduction to the Golden Age of Rubaiyat Art, 1884-1913, to by Dan H. O'Day. The Persian, Omar Khayyam, lived in the 11th to 12th century. He was a mathematician, scientist, and astronomer, who also wrote poetry. The Englishman, Edward Fitzgerald, an author and translator, translated Omar's verses starting in 1859. What is a quatrain? Basically, it is a rhyming four-line verse. Omar Khayyam wrote many quatrains, which collectively represents a rubaiyat. Fitzgerald translated them, hence the name, the rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. For example, the first verse of his first version reads, Awake for morning in the bowl of night, has flung the stone that puts the stars to flight, and lo, the hunter of the east is caught, the sultan's turret, in a noose of light. Fitzgerald produced five versions of the Rubaiyat. The first edition of 75 verses was published in 1859. In 1868, a second version of 110 verses was published. In 1872, 101 of these con constituted the third version. Further editing in 1879 led to the fourth version, and some minor changes were the basis of a fifth version in 1889. The first two versions were published anonymously, while the last was published after his death. Many Rubaiyat verses gained fame over the years, especially Quatrain 11 from the first version. Here, with a loaf of bread beneath the bough, a flask of wine, a book of verse and thou, beside me singing in the wilderness, and wilderness is paradise in now. Quatrain 51 was also popular. The moving finger writes, and having writ moves on, nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. Quotes and images related to the Rubaiyat continue to appear, in comics, including Snoopy and the Family Circus, in books by Agatha Christie, Stephen King, and others, in movies such as Twelve Monkeys, and also in music and on TV programs, among other media. In the first 30 years, when illustrated rubaiyats were published for the public, 34 different artists drew, etched, or painted pictures to illustrate the rubaiyat, producing from 2 to 75 pictures, depending on the artist. In addition, over 40 other artists decorated or embellished frontispieces, title pages, book pages, and book covers, among other book parts. For the first time, Danton O'Day has fully documented this era, the golden age of Rubaiyat art, in three volumes that are available online as photo quality books or as high quality trade books at Amazon, Abe, Blurb, and other dot-com sites. Mm -hmm.